Hey everyone, Splatter Sugar here, and today I'm going to be doing a recent uh, pickup video. I know I haven't done one in a while, and uh, I'll be explaining that, you know, why not in this video, but later on, some point, probably in a channel update. But, um, yeah, today I found a uh, playing trade, actually, that was in my area that I didn't know there was one around. It's the only one, actually, in my state. So I took a drive down there, saw what they had, eh... I've heard pros and cons about this place, but uh, it was our, it wasn't what I expected, and uh, so. But anyway, I grabbed a few titles, just wanted to showcase them, tell me what you think. There's actually a few questions on some of them that uh, I'm going to be needing your help on. And uh, first and foremost, that would be uh, this for the PlayStation One is uh, Battle Arena Toshiden Three. To me, uh, I got this for five bucks, but uh, it looks like the insert on the front and on the back looks like it was photocopied. And it's there's the American and the import versions in here, and I believe that uh, I think it was Game Master Fourteen Neo that just showcased this in their, his collection. And my question is, is I, I think this was originally a long box, but I can't remember. But for five dollars, it, it you know to me it was why not you know. Um, now this next one up here is one I passed uh, upon back in the day, as I was getting out of gaming, and. Um, I don't remember if there was a collector's edition or not released, and this was sold as a sealed copy, etc., etc., etc. So I paid fifty dollars for this, and I'm on the fence on whether it was worth it or not, whether it should be, remain sealed or not. But that is uh, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, and um, I have heard a lot of great things about this game. I never tried it. I, I actually passed on it like when I said it came out but I can't remember if there was an original collector's edition pressed or not but uh, it's sealed it was sold as brand new uh, unfortunately I don't remember if this is when they started doing away with the PlayStation 2 tape at the top there because this didn't come with it so it may, this may be something that Plantry fabricated late, later on I'm not sure that's another thing uh, I didn't do too much homework on this before I grabbed it but I saw it. it was the last copy they had and the animal in me had to grab it so but uh, do let me know, okay? Next up is a GameCube title that I traded in back in the day. And I got my hands back on again. For $10, I got uh, Baiton Kaidos. Ka Kaidos? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, I've seen this going at GameStop used for $19.99. And I saw this for $9.99. I know it's a, like a card uh, strategy RPG kind of deal. Um, I have not played this in years. And when I originally did get it, I don't think I played too much of it uh, before I traded it back in. But, uh, you know, for 10 bucks, why not get another shot? And uh, it'll be a nice little piece of this small GameCube collection that I actually have. Next up would be another title I traded in for the PS2. And that is Neo Contra, which now is uh, another little reclaim of mine. I've got this for $9.99. Um, tough as balls, in the vein of any other Contra. And uh, interestingly enough, the cover art is actually done by the comic artist Jim Lee, which is one of my favorite uh, comic artists of all time. So, you know, there's another little special thing. But I've actually been looking for this for quite some time in GameStops, and I have not seen any at all. I've seen Contra Shatter Sol Sol Soldier all over the place, but no Neo Contra. So it was nice to finally find this for 10 bucks. I thought I did uh, pretty good there. Now, uh, I also picked up... Uh, two import titles and I got these for twenty dollars a piece I was actually quite shocked to see one of these and it's in good shape but uh, the manual and the front insert have like a it looks like a water stain coffee stain kind of deal on it and the first up is a uh, Final Fantasy 7 import for the PlayStation 1 and uh, I don't remember if this is how it actually came originally because I was looking to get this years ago and uh, then, you know, like I keep saying, I got out of gaming. But I know they also released a collector uh, edition in a box, a Final Fantasy VII box in, out in Japan. So I don't know which version this is, if this is the original pressing or if this was part of the collector set or not. But it has a little insert side instruction manual, three discs. Um, but if anybody else can, you know, give me a little, little info on that. Uh, but for $20, I felt it was well worth it. Next up is... Uh, Sealed copy of Biohazard 2, a.k.a. Resident Evil 2. So, I got picked up this. Take that. Check that out. And pretty sweet deal, I thought. 
And finally is a retro reclaim of mine that I had many years ago. And I've been looking on eBay and him and Hong about it. And then I found that it play and trade and the disc is in excellent condition. The case is a little cracked. But I've been looking for this for a very long time. And for $15, I got Raiden Project. And many of you know that it's an Xbox 360. You know about the re-release of this, which is pretty nice. So... Uh, I was pretty stoked to get this. It's just a collection of Raiden 1 and 2. Uh, they're shooters, shoot 'em ups, shmups, whatever you want to call them, bolt hell. But uh, yeah, so this is what I snagged at Play and Trade today. And uh, let me know what you guys think. And if, like I said, any uh, questions you had to offer, if you can help me out with a couple of them, just let me know. Especially on the Final Fantasy VII and the Battle Arena Toshida and Shin Mega Gami Tensei Nocturne. <laughs> it's a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed all this, and uh, take care, and thanks for watching.